Basically, but hey guys, so today I'm going to be turning myself into a um, what would I call it like a tennis, tennis gone wrong type moment. I'm just gonna be putting some balls in my face, some balls in my face, some balls in my face, like te just tennis. I'll hold three, two looks wrong to hold. Let's get started. So, firstly, I'm just gonna start by chopping up some tennis balls. So I'm gonna use a knife. You're gonna do this, obviously, be very careful. <laughs> oh! Be very careful. Perfect. For the start, I'm just going to trace the outline of the ball onto like the areas of my skin that I want it to sit. So next I'm gonna take some cotton balls. So many balls everywhere. And basically I'm just going to start building up the area just around the outside so it'll give the ball somewhere to actually sit. Just taking some latex and then I kind of just tear this apart. So all I'm doing is applying the liquid latex to the area, just adding the cotton over the top and then going back in with another layer of liquid latex just to stick it all down. So now that that's kind of like, it's not fully dry, it's just like a little, it's just a little dry. I'm just going to add in some liquid latex around the inside as well. So this is just going to help the ball adhere to your skin. So once you place your half of the tennis ball in there, you can start building it up with some more cotton and latex again, just to help secure it. So just moving on to this one as well. So while this dries, I'm just going to keep working on the rest. So the most important part of this whole look is actually just making sure that the ball is properly secured to your face. And the best way to do that is just to make sure that each layer is dry before moving on to the next. Because if you don't, it will fall. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, stop it. And don't stress if it keeps falling out. You just need to give the latex a chance to dry. A good way to speed it up is to just use a hairdryer. So I'm just using Cryolin's translucent powder just around where the latex is. I can see very well. So just over the top of the latex, I'm just going to be applying my everyday foundation. Um, this is a Lord of Double Wear. This is in shade 2N1, which is Desert Beige. I'm pooped. So now taking Ben Nye's bruise wheel. I'm mainly gonna be using like this maroon and that brighter red because like realistically, I mean, this does not look real, but like realistically you would have, it would be like fairly fresh. So I'm just kind of focusing the color more just kind of right around the outside of the tennis ball. Um, the good thing about this is that you don't have to be neat. Special effects is very messy. So definitely doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just using a um, eyeshadow brush just to apply the actual color and then smudging it out with my finger. Oh, something went down my top. Okay. So using the stipple sponge with a, like a red tone is gonna make it look like um, broken, is it capillaries? You know what I mean. Now I'm taking Ben Nye's um, Scab Blood. And I'm just applying that just between the cotton and the tennis ball. And now I'm taking just some normal stage blood. This is by Global. I mean, it really wouldn't be this dramatic. And then going back in with the stipple sponge and the blood. 
So these are just the final touches, so you can really just go in with as much or as little blood as you want. Okay guys, so that is the final look. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, then like it and obviously subscribe. Duh. Um, if you guys want to see any more looks, just comment below. All right. Bye. Balls in my face, balls in my face, balls in my face, balls in my face.